The heart supplies blood to the body. Blood carries important materials which are required for the body to function and to keep healthy. Blood is transported around the body via blood vessels. Blood vessels play an important role in the body. They help to maintain the body's blood pressure, deliver oxygen and nutrients to cells around the body and also transport waste products away. Our body has different types of blood vessels which all have different functions. Artery Capillary Vein Artery An artery takes blood away from the heart. This blood contains nutrients and water. Arteries supply this blood to the rest of the body. Arteries also transport blood from the heart to the lungs to be oxygenated. For example, the biggest artery of the heart is the aorta. This helps transport oxygenated blood to the body. Arteries have a thick muscular elastic wall that constrict and expand. They have a narrow lumen and blood in the arteries flows at high pressure. Arteries have no valves and they're situated very deep into the skin. The thick walls of the arteries helps to withstand the high pressure and ultimately this means that valves aren't required. Arteries branch into smaller vessels known as arterioles. Arterioles connect to capillaries and their function is to transport blood to the capillary beds. Arterioles are smaller than arteries and bigger than capillaries. Capillary We can think of capillaries as an exchange centre. They are tiny blood vessels which allow oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients and water to move in and out of the bloodstream. Capillaries are located between arteries and veins. They allow exchange of materials between the blood and the surrounding cells. Capillaries receive oxygen and nutrients and release waste products to be sent away. Capillaries are found around the body, for example, in the liver and kidney. Capillaries are one cell thick. The thin walls helps with diffusion of nutrients and waste. They have a narrow lumen. Blood flowing through is at a low pressure. There are no valves and capillaries connect to arteries and veins. Vein Veins carry blood to the heart. So they transport deoxygenated blood, carbon dioxide and other waste from the body back to the heart. For example, the pulmonary vein and the vena cava. Veins have thin walls, they have a wide lumen, the blood flowing through the veins is at low pressure. Therefore, the blood requires some help to ensure that the blood doesn't flow backwards. This is why there are valves. This ensures that the slow moving blood only flows in one direction. Veins are located superficially on the skin. Veins branch into smaller vessels known as venules. Venules connect to capillaries and their function is to transport blood away from the capillary beds. Venules are smaller than veins and bigger than capillaries. So let's go through a diagram to illustrate how the blood flows. This is the artery. 
arterial, capillary bed, venule, vein. To begin with, we have the artery that's transporting blood away from the heart to the surrounding body. An example of an artery is the aorta of the heart. The blood then flows through the artery into the smaller branch called the arterial. Then the blood flows through the capillary bed. This is where exchange occurs between the blood and the cells. The capillaries identify useful and waste products. So nutrients and oxygen from the blood is delivered to the surrounding tissue. The blood left will now contain carbon dioxide and waste products. This blood is transported to the vein via its small branch called the venule. An example of a vein is the vena cava. This transports deoxygenated blood to the heart.